The question comes up all the time about, you know, extraterrestrial life. And I kind of sort of like that phrase because I think we overlook the bizarre life that we already have on this planet. In the deep recesses of the ocean, it gets sort of forgotten about. And we end up, you know, looking out. And we've looked out for a really long time and we've listened out. And for the most part, either there's been nobody out there or nobody wants to talk to us. We've been looking increasingly deeper and deeper in the oceans and more carefully and truly finding really bizarre life. To be a creature that has no relationship to the sun, you know, that's significant. That fits perfectly in that tighter extraterrestrial, not of the earth. Whether it's the dry, empty as I call it, or the dry void versus the wet void in the oceans. And, tube worms down at the bottom of these oceanic trenches that are uh, fixating sulfur as their primary energy source as opposed to anything based on photosynthesis from the sun. Spectacularly alien. And I would predict that if we find life elsewhere in the universe, it's going to be of an aqueous origin. NASA and European Space Agency are looking pretty aggressively towards a moon of Jupiter called Europa. Europa has a huge thick ice crust and yet a liquid ocean underneath and truly salt water as can be detected by passing satellites. And if there was going to be life elsewhere in the solar system, Europa would be a very likely location. Neptune is an entire water planet. Lucky naming by the Greeks actually to name the most oceanic planet in the space system after the god of the oceans. So yeah, I think there is an obvious tie to the oceans and life and more research could be done. But I think what pushes people to look out is astronomy is just more accessible in the sense that you know, we can't go out and get submarines. Um, you spend $4,000 on a telescope, $4,000 is hardly going to outfit you for a set of scuba gear. So maybe that's part of the reason that we look out more than we look into the oceans for interesting life.